Hey guys, what up? This is Dr. Olive Alex and today's tutorial is how to color correct your video in Vegas Pro. Now I'll be teaching a really basic color correction and I'll try to make this video short and well packed with information. And uh, before I start with the tutorial, I just want to clear things up that color correction and color grading is two different things where color correction is essentially basically um, uh, a first uh, step or process where you basically correcting your video um, colors to look natural or normal as it's supposed to be while uh, color grading is a second process where you're altering or enhancing the video color to look that you are looking for which is the mood of the video so that's the second step so in this tutorial I'll be just covering only color corrections so maybe in the future I'll be covering in color grading so here I have two video clip and uh, the second clip here was shot on iPhones and basically a video that was shot from uh, phones or a camera that doesn't set any special flat profiles they tend to color grade and correct for you straight away out from the camera but not all cameras and phones have a correct color so for example on this iPhone here we have a lot of red or orange casts in the video the second clip here was shot on a Sony uh, camera it was shot on flat uh, Cinephore color profile but the thing is it's a lot there's a plenty of purple cast or tint the reason why it's purple not gray as it's supposed to be is because i shot this through a tinted windows yes i was inside a ferry the ferry have a um, uh, purple tinted uh, kind of coating at the windows to avoid a really strong hot uh, hard lights entering the ferry but uh, you can actually fix this in post, but not, not that um, uh, accurate because it's a tinted window. So nothing much you can expect out of it. So uh, let's start off with the iPhone uh, footage here. So here's a video of my friend talking, uh, I record. And um, before you do any color correction, it's an ideal to enable all of this uh, guide here like the RGB parade, histogram, waveform, vector scope. So how do you enable this is by go to view, window layouts and press color corrections. I already have my own custom uh, color correction layout. So I'm just going to press that. So um, let's start off with histogram. So what histogram basically is, the, is a tonal range from 0 to 255 in your video which is basically telling you the amount of contrast available but I not really fully understand of color correction so keep that in mind bear with me I'm not a colorist I'm still learning but uh, based on my understanding histogram basically tells you the contrast so um, to fix this is basically you should have um, blacks and whites in your video means this should be evenly spread out so to fix that you go to your video effects in Vegas under color tab you can just simply add the simple brightness and contrast video effects into your video just drag and drop and from here as you can see if I increase the contrast it start to spread out but the problem here is is the black become pure black or pitch black I don't want that to be happens it look nasty now so to overcome that is just to move the contrast center to the middle so we have a balance evenly spread out contrast um, and you don't really need to touch the 0 and 255 values that's just just telling you amount of black and white available in the video and also to keep in mind that a broadcast color safe standard is from 16 to 235 so you don't want you don't want to touch a zero or 255 but unless you are doing um, YouTube videos it doesn't really matter even nowadays broadcast uh, television I think um, 16 to 255 
range is not a big deal now because a lot of TV nowadays are LCDs, not like the old days of television where you have to keep things in in safe standard. But I don't want to go that uh, more in details. So as long as it's widely spread out, it should be fine. Let's just increase the contrast a little bit more. And let's just bring this a bit down here. Just, just like that a tiny bit. And I think that's enough. So it depends on your video clip. Okay, your video might be different than mine. So just refer the histogram as long as it's evenly spread out, it should be fine. And also refer your window preview. And um, I think it looks fine now. So let's go to our waveform. Now waveform basically tells you the luminance of your video. It's pretty much the same as the histogram, but it's slightly different of the waveform. I'm not sure. So um, yeah, waveform is basically luminance. Yeah. So I think if your histogram is correct, means your waveform should be, but uh, there's more details in the middle area compared to the black and white sections. <laughs> Uh, let's go to vector scope. Now vector scope basically tells you, basically is the hue, the amount of um, uh, red, blue, green, soya secondary, magenta, cyan, and yellow available in your video. Um, basically, if you increase the saturation, it starts to spread out uh, from zero to hundreds. As long as it doesn't surpass hundreds, it's basically in the, within the broadcast safe. But uh, I think it's not that really matter for you to refer vector. Let's just go to RGB parade. Now you'll be referring more on RGB histogram and waveform compared to vector scope. I rarely refer that. So let's just go to RGB parade for now. Now based on RGB parade, we have red, green, and blue. On the top section, basically again, Top to bottom, which is the top section is your highlight, the middle section is your mid-tone, and the bottom section is your shadows. Our highlights have more red compared to green and blue, means there's a red cast. Just looking through the preview, it's obvious you have more red compared to blue and green. To fix that, just add the simple color corrector into your video. Select custom. So let's start off with highlight sections. Again, there's more red than green and blue. So to make things e evenly balanced, let's increase, add more blue to our highlights. And I think that's uh, enough for that. And yep, the red cast is gone. Let's see before and after. There you go. Now the mid tones here, we have more red again compared to green and blue. So let's start off with the mid-tones here. And let's just move it slightly to the blue. Very subtle amount of movements, okay? You don't need a really uh, crazy amount of move like this. Just a little amount of movement should fix the video. Now for shadow sections, I think as well there's too much of blue. I think let's just move it slightly to the blue section here to increase the red. And I think that's done. Now gamma is basically your um, mid-tones. Your saturation is obviously saturation, your gain, your offsets. So let's just add more gamma. It will, it will just basically stretch the uh, red, the luminance and the black of the color. But I don't want it to be too much. Let's just bring it down back a bit more. The offset is basically the offset of your highlights and your shadows. I think it's fine to be in zero position. Let's just increase the gain slightly more. And I think it's pretty much done. Yeah, I think it's done. Maybe you can add a bit more of saturations from here. This is slightly not much. Now the saturation affect more in the vector scope as you can see. So it's safe to be around there, I guess. I think this is a good amount of saturations. So that's how I color correct my video in Vegas Pro for this clip here. So let's move on to our next uh, video, which is a video of a 
a ferry sailing through the sea. And let's start off with the histogram. As you can see, the amount of contrast is pretty low. As, uh, sorry, let's add brightness and contrast, not color corrector. And I, I will speed up this video, so just watch how I fix the video. I just done color corrected this video here as you can see I start off with brightness and contrast color corrected it with the color corrector I gave more uh, yellow input in the highlight more green in the midtones and more into cyan in the shadows by referring to RGB parade all you have to do refer to the RGB parade as well your preview just to make sure it look normal. But uh, since I recorded this through a tinted uh, window, so this is the best I can do with the in post productions. It, but in a real life situation, you don't want to shoot through a tinted windows. And um, yeah, by recorded through the tinted windows, that's the only um, windows that are available in the ferry. But uh, anyway, I increased the gamma. And by referring this uh, scope, it helps you a lot. But then histogram, you can see I don't reach the zero tonal range. You don't have to reach zero or uh, 255. As long as it's evenly spread out and look normal in your preview, it should be okay. And also, I record, since I record this to a tinted window, I have trouble with the red, green, and blue. So I have to manually control the channel of red green and blue using color curve by selecting blue I decrease the blue bit and by selecting green I increase the green highlight by maintaining the green shadows and for the red I maintain the red shadows and decrease the red more and then I get an evenly color here of my uh, video here of the ferry sailing through the open sea so all you have to do is to make sure all of the color and contrast, brightness and contrast is evenly balanced. And that's how you color correct your video. So hopefully this tutorial, you gain a new knowledge and I hoping that you can enhance your video and make it more even uh, better. And uh, with, up, with uh, my next upcoming video, I might be covering in color grading as well, not in depth, just a basic color grading. So hope you guys like this tutorial and if you have any question related, you can just leave it down in the comment section. So see you guys next time.